Welcome to part 2 of the Windows Movie Maker and DVD Maker on Vista. This is the DVD part of the video. You can, at the bottom, it'll say, pub, a tab, it'll say publish. You can publish to this computer, DVD, recordable CD, and digital camera, and email. This computer will download it to YouTube from your PC. So I'm going to go back up and uh, click on DVD and it'll open up DVD Maker. Okay, when you first open it up, you'll see that um, the movie's already there because you downloaded it off of the Movie Maker. So you can either click Next or you can hit the disk title. Click on the disk title and name it what you want. I'm going to name it How to Use Windows Movie Maker 1. And on the bottom left hand corner, there it will show you how many minutes you used out of uh, probably about 120 or 150 minutes. Notice that the do hit the next button, it shows up. It says on the top, File, Preview, Movie Text, Customize Menu, Slideshow. And on the, bur on the right, it says Burn or Cancel. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on the top and hit Click. I'm going to click on Customize Menu and show you what that does. Now, when you notice when you open, hit that Customize Menu button, there are three things you can customize. Now, I'm just going to hit the menu audio when you hit when you put the DVD in the DVD player. That's what audio will play if you choose to have the menu play before and after the video. So I'm going to click on the browse button and it'll bring up the current track that I always use when I make a video. All you gotta do is click on the current track that you like. You can also browse the other tracks. So I'm just going to use this one. I'm going to click on it and click on the add button. Once you click on the add button, it'll automatically add it to the audio. So all you gotta do is uh, click on the change styles button and it'll change it for you okay now you're ready to burn if you want you could also uh, preview it but i'm not going to be able to do that so i'm just gonna i could but i'm not going to i'm going to uh before i hit the burn button you have to install a dvd plus r that's a recorder bowl and Put it into the DVD slot on your PC, and um, then if it doesn't show up what you want to do with this CD or DVD, then you can just hit click burn and wait for it to burn. Okay, okay once it gets to the end, it will notify you that your disk is ready, and do you want to make another copy? Now you don't have to make another copy if you don't want to. You can hit close if you want to. You can hit make another copy of this disc. I'm just going to hit close. Okay, now that you uh, decided what you're going to do, if you're going to make another copy, you can. If you don't, like I said, you hit close. Now, I'm going to exit out of uh, Windows Movie Maker now, and I hope you enjoyed this uh two-part series and I'll be looking forward to this, uh, making more videos on YouTube and um, coming June 12th uh, to YouTube also is Little City 2 so look out for that Now, when you hit the customize menu button, you can uh, customize the audio in the background, which I'm going to background in the DVD portion. When you hit the button on the now that you know where we can import the pictures from, I'm going to um, cl go ahead and click on the uh, pictures. Okay, now that we got our pictures on the timeline, what if you want to zoom in that picture? All you gotta do is come down to above the timeline, there's a 
plus magnifying glass no minus T time zoom button. Okay, now that uh, we went over what you can import, I'm gonna go ahead and click on pictures and oh, great. Starting over again. The cult of personality. The cult of personality. The cult of personality.